Hi everybody, my name is Alvaro and in this video I'm going to show you how to create a web development environment using Visual Studio Code and Dev Containers. Here is a problem we want to solve. Imagine you are trying to develop a website in PHP that requires MySQL and Redis, but you don't have much time to learn about the details of setting up and running those tools. Also, you want to have a unified environment experience so other developers on your team can get quickly up to speed to start collaborating in the project. How could we implement this scenario? You could use Docker containers to get your MySQL and Redis working, but you still need to orchestrate them to get the containers to talk to each other. Also, you need a coding editor that's fluid enough to let you develop your application and test it right away inside the container. Does such a solution exist? Of course, Visual Studio Code supports remote development via dev containers. With dev containers, you can use a configuration file that tells VS Code which containers to use for your application. VS Code will take care of starting the container while making sure you can easily access them from inside the editor, so you get a seamless development experience. Let's see a demo. For this example, you will be using Laravel, which is a PHP framework that supports dev containers out of the box. To get started with your project, run the command on screen to install Laravel on all its dependencies. The command specifies that your application uses MySQL, Redis, and PHP. Also, that you want to use dev containers. Thanks to Laravel, you don't have to worry about installing any of these services. Laravel will configure these services automatically for you using Docker files. Now it's time to start working on your application. Run the command on the screen to open your new project inside Visual Studio Code. Now comes the cool part. VS Code notices that there's a dev container definition in your project, so it's showing you a prompt on the screen. Click Reopening Container so VS Code will restart the project inside a container and automatically create the container environment for you. Also, it will set up the network connection so the services are reachable from your PHP application. Thanks to the magic of dev containers, you don't need to know about Docker or Docker Compose for this to work. Visual Studio Code takes care of that for you. How does it work? Laravel supports dev containers out of the box. When you created the project, Laravel created a Docker Compose file for you. The file includes definition for the MySQL and Redis services. It also adds a container that comes with PHP pre-installed. Laravel also created a dev container definition. Visual Studio Code detected that definition, identified the Docker Compose file, and instructed Docker to set up the development environment for you. Thanks to the mix of all this cool technology, you could get a de development environment up and running by typing just one command. What are the advantages of this approach? First, by having a dev container definition inside your application, you can easily onboard colleagues to your project. In the case of open source projects, this approach accelerates collaboration. Contributors to your project don't need to worry about setting up a development environment and go through the tedious process of installing dependencies. With dev containers, the workload become clone projects, start Visual Studio Code, and then watch off one of our TikToks while Visual Studio Code gets your environment ready. As you can see, dev containers will change the way you collaborate. Start using dev containers today. If you like what you saw, we want to dive into more detail, check the following YouTube video where you can see a full demo of Visual Studio Code using their containers to work with Laravel, MySQL, and Redis. I hope you enjoyed the demo. See you next time.